What's up guys, I'm Zihan and welcome back to a new gameplay on GTA X and 50 and the i5 470. Today I'm gonna be testing Vampire the Masquerade Swan uh, Song. At 1080p and 720p using the low quality settings, except the textures quality I kept them at max settings. And because if I don't do so, the textures won't load and it makes the game uh, a lot uglier. Uh, the game ran fine on this system, at 1080p the average FPS was around 35 and uh, when using 720p, the average FPS was around uh, 48. Uh, the performance will depend on what area you are in the game and what's going on around you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do subscribe for more gameplays on this system and take care. Who's she, Caleb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? We should have all left by now. Are you worried about the Code Red? I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the Prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. He is tortured by a demon. We all have one. The beast that preys upon him is a love of money. <laughs> if someone held a stick to his heart and cried your money or your unlife, he'd ask you for some time to think it over. It's his greed, then, that cost him your favor? Everything about him was disappointment. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the Prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon. What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring.
Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the prime. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Councillor Drory is not here, nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Leto's They've teams all got are trying such to reach faces. them, but... Nobody's answering? No. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me? Is everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thoughts? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. But now we'll be together forever. We'll be inseparable. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mom, what's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? I was told to wait here, because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide, because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie. But don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go! Aisha. It's been a while. Hey, M.M. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a Code Red, and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Stop it right there, Bazori. Don't take that tone with me. I choose what lessons to take. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get. 
even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now.